Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we got another description box. This will come to us from Club Tech. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we're here with Club Tech, and they are a monthly subscription service, and they have multiple options for you to choose from, and I will have a link to them in the description box of this video if you want to check them out. They have a standard box that I believe starts at $39 a month plus shipping and handling. They have a pro box, a premium box, and a legendary. The legendary is $549, but it's only quarterly plus shipping and handling. The other two boxes come in, a pro is $74, and a premium is $124. So they have a lot of options for you to choose from if you want to check out this service. So, so yeah, you can go to the website and check them out if you think you want to subscribe to them. And one of the things I do like about this particular box is they have a sticker right here that actually says it's from Club Tag. And a lot of these boxes I get, you know, there's there's no way to know who they're from other than really trying to be like an online detective and looking at like where, where it came from. But anyway, and Club Tack as always, they give us the nice clubtack.com air cushions, which I have a pretty big assortment of, which is fine. And they give you these, these printed out sheets that, you know, give you a little information about all of the products that are in the boxes. And this is the premium box. So this box runs Oh, well, 125 plus shipping and handling. So, just so we kind of get that clear. And let's see. Okay. First thing here we have is something that I like, although I think it's going to be kind of gimmicky. It's a knife that is says Z Hunter on it. And it's cool black and white neon green. I have a feeling this is going to be something really cheap. And that's okay. Well, actually, it's not okay, but it says stainless steel, but yeah. All right, so it comes with a sheath, and the sheath, you can see, has a cool, you know, what, Z Hunter with like a, this, uh, what is that? That's a biohazard, I think, a biohazard symbol, kind of-ish. But it just has a, just a, you know, mass manufactured blade that's, you know, full tang and it has some green cordage wrapped around this in here where the handle is going to be. Has a lot of interesting, has a lot of interesting contours cut, has a very aggressive sweep there and blade comes back here to an actual very sharp saw and then has a more blunt one up here at the top and then has these holes, then has this, this weird little like S, you know, right there, which this is nice. The one up here for your thumb is, is nice, but this one down here kind of digs into your finger, so I don't really like that or see the purpose of that, other than, you know, for the way the knife looks, you know, like more aesthetic-wise, but not really my cup of tea, but it does have a sheath, and maybe the little card here will actually say something more about it, and normally I would get excited for anything that has, you know, any zombie type things. Although, you know, of course, with the craze of, of the zombie genre, you know, it's, of course, overly commercialized to people like me. But that's okay. Let's see. Okay, it says this is a... Uh, let's see, who makes it? Is it just some generic thing? Does it even tell me? It doesn't even tell me what kind of steel it is or nothing. It, it's using a lot of colorful language here to describe what you're going to do, how you're going to F zombies up. So yeah, if you want to pause that and give it a little look-see, it doesn't really tell us anything about the knife. Other than it's got you know paracord wrapped around the handle and it's sharp. Okay. Alright, so we got that. Okay, this is a cool theming. Uh, we got another zombie thing, and uh, I don't know if you guys like zombies like I do, but this is Max Brooks. 
And this is the uh, Zombie Survival Guide. Uh, Max Brooks also did World War Z. Uh, and there's a movie adaptation uh, made of that movie, of that book rather. The book's actually really good. So if you haven't uh, you know, read World War Z, I would definitely suggest you do it. And this was, I think this was, I think this book was where Max Brooks started. I think this came first and then World War Z came, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. But uh, it is good. This book's good. I have not read this book, but I know people that have read it and they highly recommend it and said it's really good. So that's cool. And that's it. That's all we got in the box other than this ammo can. All right. So we got an ammo can. And it is a Plano. It's a small. It's not a 50 cal can. But... Let's see, does it have a gasket? That's the question. Does it have a gasket? I can't tell. I can't tell if there's a gasket in there or not. I don't have my glasses. It looks like it might. Okay, anyway, we got a ammo can full of stuff. So let's pull all this stuff out. And we'll check out and see. Okay, so that notwithstanding all the stuff that was in it, we do have a nice little ammo can, which has a just a multiple set of uses for that beyond storing ammo in you can actually do what they did here you can put anything in it and let's see what we got here we got a silicon collapsible water bottle that looks kind of like a little grenade which is that's kind of cool and when i say it looks like a grenade it looks like a grenade so there you go it says it's collapsible so how do you does it get bigger i'm assuming it just gets smaller What's in there? A desk kit. Is it? Oh, there we go. Okay. So there you go. Collapsible. As, as uh, described. And it does have a little flip up there for you to get the water out. So yeah, there you go. And it's still even collapsed. It's still... Not the biggest, but let's see, what, what, how much will it hold? Let's see, it's BPA-free, food-grade silicone, which obviously you would hope it would be like that. Uh, Temperature-resistant, negative 40C to 230C, 580 milliliters. And I'm assuming the 580 milliliters would be expanded. So, yeah. So, there you go. I don't know how you feel about that. I mean, it seems to me I just carry a water bottle. I don't know if, if having one that expands or, you know, whatever. I don't, I guess. I mean, I just, I have a bunch of water bottles. So, but still, you know, it's something that we got. So, there, there we go. Okay, we got a camping uh, and backpacking knots. What is this? This is a, a knot card. And it does have a little carabiner. Let's put the carabiner on it in case... Well, I guess these things are... They're all kind of made together, so I guess it really don't matter. But yeah, you're meant to do like this and hang it on your pack. And let's see what it has here. It has camping and backpacking knots. It has teaches you how to do a half hitch, a uh, slipping half hitch. Let's see what else. It's got stuff on the back, too. Okay, so we can do a construction knot, a square knot... Let's see, a trucker's hitch, a rolling hitch. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. A bowline on a bite, a bowline. A taut line hitch, a clove hitch. Double fisherman's. Uh, overhand knots. Figure eight. A lasso, Honda knot. All right, what we got here? We got a uh, sheep bend, a sheep shank. Okay, so... If, if you're not familiar with a lot of these knots, uh, I used to climb when I was a lot younger, and I'm familiar with uh, I'm familiar with a lot of these knots. But as you can tell here, hopefully that will zoom in and you can see it. And it just has a little depiction there, which is really good because a lot of people, if you're trying to tell them how to tie a knot, they don't. It's hard for people to visualize, so having the visual cues on there are really really nice and these cards are laminated so you don't have to worry about uh, them getting wet or anything like that and there's what five 
there's five. There's five, and then they're front and back, so there's ten, so there's two, there's twenty. So I believe, yeah, there's twenty. There's twenty illustrations of, not, of useful knots. I mean, you know, if you know about knots and the ones I read out, very useful. So if you don't know how to tie them or you don't do it, do it every day and you might forget, this is something that I think is very useful. Very, very useful. And being that it has this little carabiner, you can clip it onto your camping bag. Very smart. Very useful. Very handy. That, that's actually something that is very practical and does have a use. Let's see. Is this a, is this a loader? I think this is. And it's for 45, it says on the bag. It says it's for 45 ACP, which is a caliber I really don't shoot. So this is something that I really don't have a use for. Because I do not load a lot of 45 ACP magazines because I don't shoot a lot of 45 ACP. I'm a 9mm guy because I carry my secondary outside of my main battle rifle. My secondary is a 9mm because my carbines are all 9mm. So... I uh, don't carry 45 ACP, but this is just a little magazine loader. You know, it's just put it on top, push it in, helps you, saves your thumb. That's what these things are for, and they work. So that's that's really good. Like I said, it just kind of stinks that it's 45 ACP. But I don't know, I, I could probably, if it's 45 ACP, I could also use it for 9mm. I don't know why I'm, duh. Let's see, uh... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yes, and of course you can use it for other calibers. So yeah, I don't know why my brain just completely blanked on that. But you can use it for 9mm, 10mm, 357, 40, 44, and 45 ACP. So this thing will have a use for me uh, because, like I said, save your thumb. So yeah, so that will <laughs> that will have a use. And we got another one of these, these uh, cool lighters. Then one of these little electric, electric guys. And it works. So it's charged up already. Hopefully, let's see. I don't know how good, if you guys can even see that or not, but she works. It's a little plasma lighter. And let's see, does it take... Usually they, they just use a USB plug to charge them. Uh, do they give us something? Hopefully. Yes. Okay, they give us... They give us a charging, a USB charging cable, and a and a little lanyard for the lighter itself. And where is the charging port? Is it up here? Oh, it's up here on the lighter. Okay, so on the side of the lighter, right here, right here, you have a little US. What is this? A micro, like a micro US. USB, yeah, micro USB, and yeah, you just plug it into a USB, and it'll charge up, and it has a cool little camo, little camo uh, pattern on it, so yeah, these things, they work, they work really, really well, and the mere fact that you can take this, throw it in your back, throw it in your pack with a battery bank, and if you have some of the portable little solar cells, you can set those up when the sun's out you know when you're at your camp and you can get draw some power off to a power bank plug this in and you can always charge this so technically if we're talking about seriously zombie apocalypse type situation going on you know this will last as long as the little electrodes there are able to, to still work and Something that I don't have a whole lot of experience with is the longevity of how long these things actually work. So, comment section down below. If you are a camper or hiker or outdoor person and you use a lot of these plasma lighters and you have a lot of experience with them, I, I'm a match guy. So, I would really like to hear your feedback on how long have you had one last, like how many uses. Or, hey, if you had one you said, hey, I've had it for like two years and I use it all the time and it still works. Hit me up in the comment section down below and let me know. I'd really be interested to know that. So, yeah. All right. So, this was what? This was the premium. This was 124 plus shipping and handling. Okay. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this, they don't give me their estimated retail price on any of these products. So, we got the 
card, the little knot tying card, which is cool, which is very useful. We got the, uh, the little magazine uh, speed loader, which I feel bad for being dumb, but I will use this. Okay, so these two things we'll use. We got the lighter, the plasma lighter, which, yeah, will get used. The zombie uh, survival guide, which, um, let me say, ah, uh, you know, th these are cool. These books are really cool, and this book has a lot of just practical, what you would think would be common sense type things. And what's interesting about when you say the word, like if you're, if you say you're prepping for the zombie apocalypse, right? Not to kind of take this off into a different arena, but you're really, you're preparing for everything. You're preparing for a complete socioeconomic collapse. Because think about it, if zombies were a thing, everything shuts down. Everything goes to pot. So if you prepare for that, you are literally preparing for everything. Those preps for, you know, the zombie apocalypse translate into everything. Translates into municipal power outages, um, storms, you know, nat you know, any kind of any type of natural disaster, uh, shortages, anything. So, you know, for me personally, yes, I will tell people, yeah, I prepare for the zombie apocalypse. Why? Because technically, you're preparing for everything. So, yeah. Anyway, the knife which I think is, I'm just going to go ahead and go on a limb here and say this is kind of probably something that's kind of gimmicky and probably not the highest of quality. So this is something I would put in the realm of just being a cheap, just a cheap item. Uh, don't know how practical it would be or how much use you're going to get out of it. So that I'm kind of mad on. Uh, the, the collapsible food grade water bottle. It's stuff like this. It's 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 a cool. I guess it's a novelty idea. I will give it that. But how practical is it? I mean, the water bottle. You saw how big it was, right? And to say, oh, it collapses. It well, it collapses down to this. Is this versus that? Is is that? a game-changing thing for me as someone hiking or camping or running from zombies just my opinion I don't I don't really see to me that's novelty it, it being practical to me just it really doesn't do it so yeah this this is something that you know it, it is useful don't get me wrong it is useful but as far as it Fulfilling a specific, you know, need of being collapsible. I don't, I don't really think I can take it or leave it. And then the Plano little uh, ammo can, which as long as these feet match my other ammo cans, my other, like, what are they, 30 cal ammo cans, I'm perfectly fine with it because I can stack it right with my, with my other smaller cans. So, so, yeah, this was 125 plus shipping and handling. Oh, man. Uh, was it worth it? Let's see. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say no. Sorry, Club Tack. I don't see, because literally, let me see if I can get everything in the frame here. Yeah, right now you are looking at everything. This stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things. Yep, seven things. 125 bucks. Nope, 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 don't see it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I can't wait to hear you guys' comments on what you guys think about this particular box at $125 from clubtech.com. And I will put a subscription button over here, a next video over here. And if you have hanged with me this long, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I uh, greatly appreciate your support, and uh, please check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That really helps me out and everything. So, with that, guys, I am out of here. I look forward to seeing you in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think, and we will see you next time. Peace.